When you look at it and you study it, it is truly a remarkable substance with a myriad of benefits. You may refer to it as derivative of the amino acid L-cysteine or basically as a precursor to the glutathione. In this case, we're going to refer to it primarily as an antioxidant in regard to osteoarthritis. But NAC, again, N-acetylcysteine, is just remarkable. Now, what we're going to look at in this particular study, which was just released a few days ago, which was an animal study, so keep in mind, they noticed, well, take that back. They noticed that this protein called AMP32A tends to decline most often due to age or other biological stressors per se. And what happens with AMP32A, that's what we call it, uh, declines, it can't help produce this enzyme called ATM. Yes, that's the name of the en enzyme, ATM, which normally helps protect cartilage. And so when AMP32A declines, ATM can't come to the aid of the joints or potentially as well other neurological uh, issues per se. And therefore, the researchers discovered that by offsetting or mitigating, I should say, this lack or reduction in AMP32A with N-acetylcysteine, in regard to this animal model, that they can mitigate some of the results of that reduction in AMP32A. Please forgive me, I know it's kind of repetitive, but I'm gonna read a little fast and I'm gonna slow down to the more important parts as we review this study. But it does reveal incredible, an incredible new potential in regard to NAC. So, without further ado, let us proceed. Antioxidant Defender protects against osteoarthritis, a protein involved in multiple cellular processes called AMP32A, protects cartilage and joints against degradation by damaging oxidation, preventing the development and progression of osteoarthritis, according to the research. The findings suggest that some antioxidant treatments could be useful, in this case NAC, in preventing further cartilage damage and reducing the severity of osteoarthritis and potentially other bone and brain disorders. Researchers found that AMP32A levels are decreased lower in osteoarthritis tissue samples from humans and mice, which we alluded to prior, leading them to ask, through correlation, what function the protein might play in normal tissues. Gene expression profiling revealed that AMP32A increases an enzyme uh, called ATM as part of the response against oxidative stress in joint cartilage cells. So when AMP32A begins to decline as time goes on, so this response or production of this enzyme called ATM, joints can't be protected, what do you do? Now steps in N-acetylcysteine. Interestingly, doses of the antioxidant N-acetylcysteine in drinking water, remember it's an animal study, reduced osteoarthritis symptoms and cartilage damage in mice deficient in AMP32A. The researchers also discovered that AMP32A deficiency was linked to osteopenia and a neurological disease similar to ataxia telangiectasia in mice and that these disorders could be treated with NAC antioxidant therapy. So we're looking at bone loss being protected by that, osteoarthritis, and obviously other neurological conditions. Now I'm going to go to the abstract. Now keep in mind this we're still talking regarding NAC and at the same time too what they can do by treating the deficiency of AMP32A in the future and what that's related to. So to proceed, antioxidant treatment reduces severity, antioxidant treatment being NAC, the severity of osteoarthritis, osteopenia, and cerebellar ataxia features in AMP32A deficient mice, revealing that the AMP32A ATM access, because remember AMP32A sounds like a tongue twister, it helps increase the enzyme ATM to protect the joints. Discovered in cartilage also present in brain and bone. The findings indicate, according to the researchers, actually our findings, quoting them, indicate that modulating AMP32A signaling could help manage oxidative distress in cartilage, brain, and bone with therapeutic implications for osteoarthritis, neurological disease, and osteoporosis. So, in future studies, most preferably, obviously with people, there holds a great potential for NAC in help mitigating some of the damage of these negative outcomes due to anything that may result in regard to the reduction of either ATM or AMP32A. It sounds kind of complex, but NAC looks really good 
for basically osteopenia, osteoarthritis, or other potential neurological conditions. Again, this is Rapture Channel, signing off once again. Hope you find this information use. I apologize, we don't have the dosages available. Once again, it's an animal study, not a human study. But in any case, the DOI citation will be listed, then into the abstract, and hopefully they'll have a full study up shortly. Again, as always, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Thank you.